Hello everyone and welcome to GC Wired News, your source for student life news on campus and around town. Remember, you can find most of these stories online at gcwirednews.com. A number of student organizations have been working these past few weeks helping out the community and our country in a number of fundraisers that help support some great causes. On Friday, April 13th, students from the American Medical Student Association and the student government set up at the Walmart in Lynn Haven for their first food drive. <laughs> Lynn Haven's firefighters and some local Marines were also on hand to encourage folks to drop off non-perishable food items that could be donated to the rescue mission. This eight-hour event brought in about $1,800 in food and $400 in cash. According to the rescue mission, this was the largest turnout they've seen from any one-day event. On Saturday, the National Society of Leadership and Success teamed up with the Bay High School Streetlight Project for a car wash. The event brought in close to $400 in donations that will be used to help the Streetlight Project of Bay High School continue their mission to bring awareness and support to the over 18 or 800 teenagers that are homeless in Bay County. Finally, Monday, April 16th, brought back an aroma of good barbecue back to the campus. This barbecue plate lunch was used to help raise funds for folks affected by the recent outbreaks of tornadoes in the country. Nearly $500 were raised from this event. Gulf Coast State College is getting a facelift this summer, and it is not so subtle. All around campus, there is orange tape, orange tape, and more orange tape. The highlight construction is the Advanced Technology Building. This structure will help to educate students on green technology, which is definitely the way to go for lucrative employment in the near and distant future. At the beginning of the semester, GC Wire spoke with Dr. Curley, Gulf Coast State College's president, to discuss the departing of that souvenir airplane in front of the college. The military park, located next to the workforce building on College Avenue, will be the greatest patriotic salute Panama City can give to the United States of America. We might miss the plane, but hats off to the engineers of this great idea. For the summer, students and guests get used to the orange tape and be friendly to our new visiting guests, the orchestrators of these massive facelift projects, the construction workers. Every April, Gulf Coast State College Library hosted a week-long event to coincide with the National Library Week, a week-long celebration of just how important our library system is to our educations. One of these events includes a sweet treat, cakes. The cake contest offered as a variety as the books themselves. For one contest winner, this week is much more than just about the contest. She hopes people take the time to celebrate the service that the libraries offer. It, without libraries, you know, computers are great, but there's nothing like touching a real book, feeling it, experiencing it, turning that page, flipping back to read a passage over and over again. The love of reading is one of the biggest loves that my parents gave to me, and I pass it on to my child, and I try to inspire everyone to read, 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 and support our libraries. Some Gulf Coast State College art students are needing your help to study this summer in Greece. Art students will host a superhero skate party Wednesday, April 25th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Skate Factory located behind the Knowledge Shopping Center. The cost is $6 to enter as your favorite superhero. However, maybe you should think about not wearing a long cape if you decide to skate. Everyone is welcome to join. And again, proceeds from the event will help Gulf Coast State College art students study the, study the art culture of Greece this summer. The Visual Performing Arts has a number of degrees and programs offered to students in the community. GC Wired reporter Josh Sandler sat down with one member to talk about the program and also this year's art festival coming up. My name is Joshua Sandler and I would like to tell you about the most amazing event. We're not, We're not doing that. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a choir event, so okay, anyways, well, I'm here with Miss Morgan Reason over here to tell us a little bit about the choir showcase they're doing here at Gulf Coast State College. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? It's over there at the Amelia Center, okay. and it starts at 6.30. Mm -hmm. And the choir will be performing some of our best numbers. And that's for the uh, Arts Spring Arts yes. Festival here. And it's, it's great for everyone to come out and see. And are you guys shooting it anywhere else besides the Arts Spring Arts Festival? Are you guys going to do your own showcase? We have our own showcase, the 29th, mm -hmm. which is a Sunday at... St. Andrew's United Methodist Church on 11th Street, it's across the street from Oakland Terrace. That starts at 6 and will last for about an hour with all the music that we've prepared for this semester. And it is completely free. Hmm. Everything tastes better with free. Doesn't it? 
Yeah, exactly. So um, what are some of the pieces that you guys are going to be doing? We have pieces in different languages. We have our French piece, Hebrew piece, Latin piece, <laughs> and others, um, and then our own English piece is thrown in. Yeah, so it's diverse. Mm -hmm. Little something for everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, why should somebody want to go to see your guys perform? Because we're awesome. Some people don't know that, and they need to be true. They, they, need, they need to know. Yeah. We work very hard all semester. Um, Scott, who is our director, is wonderful and is able to pull things out of the air and out <laughs> of the music that um, we wouldn't see ourselves. And with his direction, it's, it's just wonderful. Yeah. Our pieces are fabulous this year. Is that, some, like of the, <laughs> is that some of the things you do at the, in the choir? We, yes, we spend the normal class time rehearsing, and it's every everyone who's there enjoy enjoys singing, enjoys the music, and because and also because Scott loves it so much, we enjoy it more. It's um, and it's not always so serious, and, and we, you can see that with some of our pieces that we perform. It's just it's a class, and we get credit for it, but it doesn't feel like a class. It's Something more. Yes, it, it, it's great. It's a time to relax. and It's, it's like relaxing while also um, improving your skill. Does that make sense? Yeah, <laughs> while having fun all at the same time. <laughs> well, we can't wait to see it, but for the people at home, when is, it, when, is it, when is the time again? The Spring Arts Festival is the 27th at 6.30. The choir concert by itself is the 29th at 6 at St. Saint Andrew, Saint Andrew's United Methodist Church. Okay. Now, I got one more serious, very important question to ask. Without it, Shoot. interviews, nothing. If this showcase was a sandwich, what kind would it be? A ham and cheese sandwich. Ham and cheese sandwich, you know. Cheesy because tortoise and the hare song, yet meaty because of all the deep songs that they have in there. That's... That's right. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Reason. Over there. Is thank you so much. Is there anything else you could tell us about the Spring Arts Festival? It's not just the choir that's performing. We have the musical theater students, students here performing. We have our acting two students here performing, and it's just it's it's a diverse group of people coming together to display the talent that we have here in the in the Fine Arts Building. Okay. And we can't wait to see this immense talent, both at the Choir Showcase and at the Visual and Performing Arts Spring Festival. Well, for both, we're very excited to perform it for you all. We've all been working so hard. Oh, can't wait to see it. Hopefully the viewers at home also can't wait to see it. Well, thank you. And both interesting and fun events to go see with your family here at the Gulf Coast State College. Last week, some students put down their skateboards, rollerblades, and segways and picked up canes, walkers, and crutches. Every semester, the nursing students at Gulf Coast State College learn about the handicap through a participatory observation project. Coming up after the break, we'll have a list of some of the nominees for the upcoming Honors Convocation. Also find out how you can support the Humane Society of Bay County to give forever homes to dogs and cats. Stay with us. Covering the life that is Gulf Coast State College and the surrounding communities. GCYNews.com From student news to what's going on around the community. GCYNews.com Alright guys, we need to think of an idea for a promo for Spike Suit Productions. Does anyone have any ideas? Right. Support Lord. promoting spring break. I have break. an idea. What is your idea? Why don't we have a scene that takes place on a beautiful mountain with little rabbits jumping around and we start getting hungry so we take machetes and we, and we start stabbing the rabbits and blood just starts pouring down the mountain and, and it forms around this little village and everyone's screaming in pain and sorrow for the blood that's... Two thousand and twelve will mark the fifth year that Spike Suit Productions has been promoting this college and the community that we surround. 
From our humble beginnings of a one camera and a green room to a multi-camera studio that can be moved to almost any location. If you are a Gulf Coast State College student interested in learning more about post-video productions or video journalism, join the team. We are open to all students at Gulf Coast State College, regardless of your major, and whether or not you prefer to be on camera behind it. You could also get college credit by our cooperative program. To find out more, come by our studios in the technology building in room 123, we're next to the vending machine. Also check out our website, gcwirednews.com. Welcome back to GC Wired News, your source for community and campus news. You can always check us out at gcwirednews.com for the latest news or like us on Facebook at GC Wired News. This year's international festival was a huge success. Cultures from all over the world were represented at the second annual event. From unique food to music, there was certainly a great deal to enjoy and to learn. Every year, students and faculty are honored for making Gulf Coast State College the great campus that it is. On Friday, April 26th at 10 a.m. in the Amelia Tapper Center, the Honors Convocation will be held. Here are the nominees for some of the categories that will be featured at this year's convocation. For the Bob McSpadden Outstanding Student Leader, Nehemiah Carter, Mike Hollis, Aaron Sokol, Alex Winkler, Chaz Mullenix, Melanie Boyd, Dexter Littlefield, Kendall Dornar, Dustin Hull, Jameson Reeves, Emily Birch, Tabitha York, Christina Robertson, Peggy Vickery, Phoebe Ilex, Isaac, Joshua Sandler, Erica Gay, Jean Duyon, Ashlyn Chernigan, Aaron Wagner, and Natalie Diaz. For the Outstanding Student Athlete, Hope Goodwin, Alan Love, and Uju Ugoka. For the Outstanding Campus Organization, African American Student Union, Baptist Collegiate Ministries, Brother to Brother, Society of Leadership and Success, Spike Sue Productions, Surgical Technology Club. The Student Departmental Award will also be awarded at this year's convocation, and awards for faculty advisors, professors, and employees will be announced at a special faculty luncheon after finals. With the talk of honors convocation, the most important of all the ceremony is not far away. It's graduation. This year's graduation will be held on Friday, May 4th, starting at 6 p.m. Graduates need to be at the Marina Civic Center in Panama City by 5 p.m. PM in full regalia. Also, on Thursday, May 3rd, practice for graduation will start at 11.30 a.m. and all graduates should attend this event. Lunch will be provided by the Gulf Coast State College Alumni Association. Spike Sue Productions will also be filming and making available copies for sale the night of graduation. Congratulations first graduating class of Gulf Coast State College. Now before graduation, you have to get through those final exams. And once again, the student government is supporting Midnight Madness. The Sunday through Wednesday event gives students an opportunity to study until midnight, with also the opportunity to enjoy plenty of snacks and energy drinks to get through the massive amount of studying that will be needed. Event, <laughs> events, the event kicks off on Sunday, April 29th from 4 p.m. to midnight and Monday through Wednesday, 7.30 a.m. till midnight. The event is free and open to all students.
The Humane Society of Bay County is gearing up for its annual 5K Furry Friend Run. GC Wired Lauren Anderson sat down with Marketing Director Sean Brosnan with the Humane Society about this event and also about how you can provide a forever home. I'm here with Sean Brosnan, the Marketing Director of the Humane Society of Bay County. What exactly is your organization for? We are for, uh, our main key thing is, is finding uh, forever homes for homeless animals in Bay County, be it that through adoption and fostering. That's just, that's our, that's our one key goal. Um, if there is a homeless animal, be it through an owner surrender or whatever, we find it that forever home and we, we make sure that it stays like my rescue with me forever. <laughs> Okay, and you said there were some misconceptions about your organization? Yeah, there, um, you know, we, we've been around for a while, and a lot of people assume that we are, one, animal control, or that we can, two, pick up strays, and we can do, we're, we're, not, we're not animal control, and we, we can't pick up strays. There's a county ordinance in place that, that stops us from picking up strays, and states that all strays need to go to animal control, which, which works out in, in the one key part that if you ever lost an animal, be it a cat or a dog, um, and, you know, you, it stops you from having to call seven different organization saying hey do you have my cat do you have my cat <laughs> you can just call that one and, and know that you can go there to that one spot so it's kind of consolidated in, in, in that option but um but yeah we, we don't pick up strays at all um, and we're not a policing agency so if you do see animal abuse you definitely need to call Bay County Animal Control they do have a dispatch line and they send officers out to, to handle that situation okay so you told me your organization is involved with events what events have you done in the past Events that we've done in the past, we do, we do plenty of them. Uh, the, the main thing to point out, uh, another misconception, is that we do not receive any government funding of any kind. Uh, we are a no-kill shelter, 100% no-kill, so if you had an animal brought to us um, through owner surrender or anything, that animal would stay with us until it got adopted. So being that we don't receive any government fun funding, we rely on um, donations from the public, uh, be it through fundraisers and events, um, just you know, grants that people have, just anything like that. So we do constant fundraisers. So we're pretty much doing one like once a weekend almost. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had this real successful one uh, just about two weekends ago. Uh, it was our chicken wing championship. And we had it at one Stanford Center in the TGI Friday parking lot. Um, and it was awesome. Despite inclement weather, we would raised about $5,000. Had about 22 different wings. Um, it was pros versus Joe. So you had um, professional restaurants and you had people like me and you out there grilling these awesome wings. So it was good food, it was good times uh, despite the rain and, and we were raising good money. What about upcoming events? Well, we've got our 5K, second annual Furry Friend 5K that's at A.L. Kensaw Park on April 28th uh, from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, registration's from 7 to 7.30. It is 25 per person. You can walk with or without your animal, and it's a professionally timed event. So we're going to have Freedom Sports and Warrior Race timing out there, giving microchips, you know, to get your race time, you know. So, and that's going to be something really, really cool. Um, you can, like I said, you can walk with or without your animal. Some people, you know, have multiple animals out there. You can do employee teams, like if, you know, Gulf Coast State College had a team they wanted to sponsor of employees. That would, that's something that we could take as well. Um, we've also, on May 19th, we've got uh, something that we do, we try to do at least once a month with Books A Million called the Books A Million Book Fair. And we're there, you know, from 12 to 4, and any purchases you make through that time, if you say, hey, you know, I would like that 10% that I would normally save to go to the Humane Society, they make that happen. Mm. And so that's a, good, that's a good little charity for us as well. So. If anyone is interested in volunteering, what kind of jobs do you have available for those people? We have tons. We can always use volunteers, uh, be it from events, um, to helping out at our Animal and Adoption Center and helping out at the thrift store, um, just because we get a lot of donations there, so we can you know, kind of sort through them. Um, if they're interested in volunteering, they can check out our website. Um, they could also go to volunteer.adoptme.org um, and fill out a little request, and then someone will call them if it meets those, you know, the credentials that they have. Um, we're also going to have a volunteer orientation on April 15th, so that's this Sunday. Um, they can check out our website for more information about that, the times and stuff. But, um, but yeah, if they're interested in volunteering, there's always something fun for them to do. Okay, and if they want to get in contact with you, do you have a phone number or? I do. Uh, they can call our shelter at 850-215-7120. Uh, they can call me on my cell phone, 850-691-2725, if they're interested um, and, and have, have any questions about anything that we do or and they got a question for me or maybe a future event they think we could do. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming no out. No problem at all. I thank you all for interview. having us. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is Sean Brosnan, and I'm Lauren Anderson for GC Wired News. We'd like to say thank you to everyone we've interviewed, to all the Spike Soup people that helped put this show together, to our director, Daniel Giat, 
And to everyone who viewed the show, we thank you so much and we can't wait to see you next semester. Also, special thanks to all who voted to nominate our organization for the Student Organization of the Year. Remember to check us out online at gcynews.com. Congratulations, graduates. We will see you in the fall 2012. Two thousand and twelve will mark the fifth year that Spike Suit Productions has been promoting this college and the community that we surround. From our humble beginnings of a one camera and a green room to a multi-camera studio that can be moved to almost any location. If you are a Gulf Coast State College student interested in learning more about post-video productions or video journalism, join the team. We are open to all students at Gulf Coast State College, regardless of your major, and whether or not you prefer to be on camera behind it. You could also get college credit by our cooperative program. To find out more, come by our studios in the technology building in room 123. We're next to the vending machine. Also check out our website, gcwirednews.com. I'm here with Mr. Richard Beavison. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. And tell, can you tell us a little bit about the Fet Veterans Task Force? Yeah, we're an organization started up about three years ago, and our primary thing is we want to help the veterans in the area either get a hand up, because we don't give hand out, yeah. or if um, something happens, they need help in any, in any shape or measure, we try and help them out with it. We got a couple of different things we're doing. Um, we do help monetarily. We, our big thing is we like to get everybody to the right organizations where they need to go. So we're, we're real big with information. And just recently, um, we started saying, we wanted to say something to the, uh, the veterans that are still serving. And we consider them our heroes. So one of the things we're doing is what we call Military Appreciation Day. And it's an event where we're gonna take the actual ID card holders still serving in the military fishing for free, bring their family members in for a day on shore, and then we're gonna feed them all that night with a big old pig pig. Oh man, that sounds awesome! It is. This will be our third event, so and it's, it's good somebody's helping our men and women out there who are protecting our nation. Exactly. You know, I'm I'm a 24 year veteran of the Army, and we feel, you know, not all our members are veterans either. You know, we have civilian members, we have family members that have joined us, and we just feel that the ones that are being overlooked are the ones that are still serving. You know, these kids that have six, seven, eight tours across you know, overseas, yeah. they're family members because when a service member leaves, that's a single parent family automatically. So they lose their partner in the home. So we want to say thank you to all of them. And do you help them cope by, with this organization too? Uh, like I said, one of the things we'll do is if somebody comes up and they need help in that means, we'll send them to the right organizations that are actually set up to help them with that. We're, you know, we're people off the street. So we don't really have the means for counseling and that kind of stuff, but we do know where they can go, and we'll help them get their appointments set up, stuff like that for it. Yeah, and if somebody wanted to help you guys out over there, how would they go about joining? Well, there's a couple different ways you can help us out. If you actually want to join, we have our meetings typically on the third Thursday of every month down at the St. Andrew Civic Center right downtown here. Um, we're switching it up a little bit for the summer because other people are busy and everything, but typically it's the third Thursday. Come on down, see what we're about. And if it's something you feel you want to help us out with, then by all means, join. Um, monetarily, obviously, we're a, we're a 501c3, completely nonprofit, all volunteer, so we always take donations, yeah. you know, like anybody <laughs> else. And, or you can volunteer to help us out at our events and stuff like that that we're having, like I said, the Military Appreciation Day, which will be on June 9th. We're going to have a fall fest down in St. Andrews. The Shrimp Boat Restaurant's going to host a uh, fall fest down there. We're going to have music, we're going to have games, stuff like that. We're always looking for volunteers for that stuff also. It sounds like a lot of good stuff you guys are doing. Are there any more events besides the shrimp boat, the fishing thing? That that's, our two, that's our two big things we got going on right now. Um, another way that we're trying to raise some money, we have a raffle that we're going to be doing. Um, and then we're going to set up our booth. We basically have, you know, 10 by 10 tent. Yeah. And we're going to be set up around town at different Walmarts. We're going to be out at the uh, uh, Thunder Beach. So. so that way everybody can get involved and help you guys out. Yeah. So you guys can help the veterans. Right. 
And where is your um, headquarters kind of located? That's the St. Andrew Civic Club. You can look us up online at VTNWF or Veterans Task Force of Northwest Florida dot com. You can email me at madmad.richb at yahoo, or you can call me, 910-263-4906. Okay, well, thank you so much, sir. Thank Can't you. wait to come see you down there for those events. And yeah. If you need anything up, just come to us. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. We'll be around. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And if you are a community event just like, or organization, just like the Veterans Task Force, please contact us at mygcwired at gmail.com with... Richard Beaverson with the De Veterans Task Force. Thank you. Covering the life that is Gulf Coast State College and the surrounding communities. GCYNews.com. From student news to what's going on around the community. GCYNews.com. I gotta stop doing this with paper.